dear all i would like to welcome you all in the lecture series of electronics lab in this session i am going to discuss the demonstration of precision full wave rectifier using operational amplifier let us see how to do the experiment before starting the experiment the ultimate aim of the experiment is to construct a precision full wave rectifier using operational amplifier uh, here we are using lm741 ic the purpose of precision full wave rectifier what is the difference between the normal type of rectifier and uh, precision full wave rectifier suppose consider the normal type of rectifier in case of normal type rectifier or conventional type rectifier it's not possible to rectify the voltage below the threshold voltage say 0.6 volt if the signal is less than 0.6 volt it is not possible to rectify by using conventional type uh, rectifier when it comes to precision full wave rectifier even small signal can be rectified because we are using you know, a linear amplifier here so op amp act as a linear amplifier here so that is the major uh, idea or major advantages of precision uh, full wave rectifier that is the difference between conventional type of rectifier and a precision full wave rectifier i think you got my point another important strategy to complete the experiment is you have to follow up the need circuit so that is a major thing here what we require is we require two lm741 ic so we can see these are the two operational amplifier okay so you have to mark which is uh, inverting terminal non inverting terminal also don't forget to put the ground and vcc it's already there so they have been mentioned but it's already there one is for uh, 7 and 4 okay uh, for 7 and 4 one is ground another is uh, vcc okay then 2 3 everything you have to mark it properly then you have to take care the signal di signal diode okay take care of these connections very important uh, now during positive half cycle so how does it work during positive half cycle uh, the d1 become forward biased d1 is forward biased and d2 become reverse biased okay reverse biased so uh, the uh, through this particular path whatever the voltage you apply now that will come across the load that will be happening during positive half cycle if i talk about negative half cycle the peculiarity is a d1 become a reverse biased where uh, d2 that is becoming a uh, forward biased okay so wh whatever you apply the voltage uh, that will come across the uh, load that is what exactly happening in case of uh, this precision full wave rectifier so it uh, overcomes the setbacks of or for the shortcomings of you know, half wave precision half wave rectifier now uh, what we are supposed to do is you can generate a sinusoidal signal using the function generator uh, then uh, that function generator can be given as an input of this particular circuit then you, you should get the rectified output fine so that is the idea about the entire circuit we'll just show how to make out so please uh, before that make ready with one observation a notebook and you can note on this table and uh, once you can measure the input what is the amplitude frequency time period everything you can measure for the input in the output side you can measure the amplitude what about the amplitude since it's a dc you now frequency will be, will be zero only for output waveforms oh, so frequency is applicable only for ac waveform that you know right uh, the expected waveform will be in this fashion we have the input waveform sinusoidal and we should get the uh, steady state output like uh, dc output we should get it fine so that is the observation you are supposed to make out for this particular experiment now i would be taking you uh, the demonstration of precision full wave rectifier please pay the attention i think screen is visible to everybody am i right or not yeah so here what i am going to do is i need to design a precision uh, rectifier circuit so first what you are supposed to do is you need to set the frequency you need to set the frequency say one kilohertz frequency amplitude maybe five volt you can take your wish as your wish input you have to set first then rig up the circuit then uh, the output output you can uh, collect across the resistor that can be given to the cro fine so uh, let us directly move on to the particular demonstration how we have to perform this particular circuit so please pay the attention okay yeah now let me start so all the connection should be done in the breadboard itself you have to while doing the connection be careful 
So how the components are connected, you can have a look on, look on this. See, these are the way how to do the connections. We have to arrange to um, uh, operational amplifier IC. New LM741 IC, it has to be connected. Then uh, corresponding all the uh, ports like uh, 4, 7. Uh, by, by default, you have to connect uh, 7 to the VCC, 4 to the ground. Then 2 and 3 pins you have to take care. Output should be collected from the pin number 6. Do the connection accordingly. All right. Yes, connection should be perfect and rigid. Okay. Uh, once it is fixed, it should not come outside. So do the necessary arrangement. Like you can give the VCC and the ground also you can provide, right? Then this is for the generating the sinusoidal waveform at a frequency of 1 kilohertz, or you can write it as 1000 hertz or 999 hertz. Both are same only. So you can see the input waveform and output waveform in the CRO itself. So first one is actually the input. It is very clear that the first one is input. The second one is considered as output. Second one is unidirectional waveform, right? So we consider this as a rectified output. Rectified output of uh, precision rectifier using op-amp. Fine. Then you can measure the frequency. You can uh, frequency of input and you can measure the amplitude of input. Okay. Then you can measure the time period. One by frequency is nothing but time period. Similarly, the rectified output you can measure uh, in the CRO. Okay. So um, uh, this is the amplitude you can easily measure. Fine. So this is the way how to perform the experiment. Okay. So accordingly, you have to measure the parameters, which I have shown you one table. That is only about this particular experiment. I think the concept is clear to everybody. So we'll be getting a uh, sinusoidal. Uh, we are providing the sinusoidal waveform and uh, we should get a rectified output as a DC waveform, we should get it. So that is a summary of the experiment. So in this session, what we have done is that we have studied, uh, we have discussed how to rig up the circuit for precision full wave rectifier using operational amplifier and what are the parameters you are going to measure, what could be the output you are expected to get, how to do the connections in precise, I have explained. So let me know if you are having any queries related to this experiment. In the in the coming video, in the coming session, I'm going to discuss with the monostable multivibrator and a stable multivibrator. Thank you for watching this video. Have a happy learning. Have a good day.